this is the current configuration of the center point for my shade cloth rigging um, that's been several years of sort of messing around with different angles and weights and things like this and I finally come up with an idea that you'll see uh, at the end of this video and I wanted to sort of create a before video of what I did um, you can see that there's some blocks those are actually filled with concrete and the strap going down here is designed to keep everything from moving off the roof and being pulled off the roof that isn't really to do anything else um, the connection point for the carabiners on the top there is designed to be above the roof so that the um, you can see that the shade sails don't touch the roofs I don't want them rubbing and I want the rain to flow when it does rain and it's got to be far back enough too so that you can see the overlap so there's no there's no sunshine coming down onto the patio deck um, so I want it to be back their ways um, you will see what I come up with here but this was my first iteration um, and it took a couple of years to come up with this it does work but obviously it's very ugly it's very heavy I don't like it being on the roof it doesn't penetrate the roof but um, I just came up with some ideas after messing with different size tarps I'm settled on the tarps that I'm going to use which are um, 23 by 20 rectangles and 26 by 20 rectangles the way I have it set up is this is the center of both of them and then they extend out obviously as you can see and then I have those uh, friction straps or um, ratchet straps from the other corners to palm trees so this is the point um, that I'm going to be improving right now so um, that's kind of what it is it weighs a lot but it still does move and uh, it's just ugly and I had to move this a couple of times so that's the way I kind of set it up so that it would you know accommodate the different tarp sizes and things the the shade cell size sizes rather so um, anyway I'm set on the size and the uh, shape of the shade sails and I'm going to be um, doing something a lot different that you will see. This is a skeletonized mock-up of what I'm going to install for the shade cloth rig and I left this all disassembled so you can see the uh, the fasteners and like how I'm going to put this all together I'm going to list the fasteners now this one I actually had and um, there's a lock nut on that one so the carabiners to hook the shade cloth on will attach at this point right here and the bolts that go into the beam I'm only going to use two through bolts and then these lag bolts and the reason is that these two are going to do it anyway but this one is just going to keep any chance of rotation and movement out of the system they're just like pins almost when I bought the um, trailer hitch stuff this came with it and I was like ah, I want to use bolts but then I thought well if I have to take it apart this is going to act like a uh, quick release and you know they just have a pin on the other side that slips in so you'll see that when it's all done so this is an assembled mock-up and I just put the bolts in and you can see how everything came together the adjustments that I'm not sure of are how far this is going to go out and this plate so I may end up flipping this 180 degrees um, but 
probably that's where the through bolts are going to go in because I want to use these big washers. So um, because of the um, lack of space near this um, forward facing beam on this, uh, this tube here, I'm going to probably put those right there which is going to be just fine and then um, the top will probably have these legs going in. So that's going to be sort of what it looks like. So this is the completed project. Um, to begin with, I forgot to mention that there's two of these that come in the bed extender kit. You can see that I added this bracket here for stability, um, but this one had a bunch of holes in it and I taped them so that water wouldn't get in. This is just that aluminum foil 100 mile an hour tape, um, but it was cut. I cut it right here so that I could use it here as an insert to put these two pieces together. So I forgot to mention that I did just a little bit of fabrication by cutting this L piece here um, right at that joint. Um, I siliconed the joints on the top and the sides and then holes any penetrations and that's to keep out water and just to sort of reduce movement a little bit. Um, I'm putting this together in October and I'm not going to be hanging uh, my shade cloths until next June so everything will be nice and uh, solid by then and I might need to repaint and stuff but um, you can see that I got some end caps and all this is going to be listed so there's an end cap here and at the top here and I just gooped them up with silicone stuck them on and painted them so nothing special there and this is the way I use the uh, the pintle um, connection piece and bolted here and you'll see that these are um, there's two legs and then two pass-through bolts that come through to this, all the way through this. So, um, and again, all this is listed. You can see how I sealed um, these joints, the silicone, and um, you can also see that I painted it two colors. Uh, I'm not really concerned with the overall finish right now, and uh, I know that it's going to be out in the weather for a little while. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how it turned out. And um, you can see that it's nice and tall. So uh, next summer, there's going to be a lot of height to this end of it overhanging the patio. And that's going to be a real big help. And that way I can just leave my uh, pool tool um, rack up on the, the roof here. And I won't have to move that to the other side that I typically do so that's the project and you can see all these parts and stuff online and make your own uh, configuration and stuff but that's it